everyone! Welcome to fourth Sunday of our big idea, Gratitude. And kids, what is gratitude here in Off Street? Yes, gratitude is a thankful attitude. Kids, were you able to practice gratitude for this whole month of January? Did you? That's so fun and that is so nice of you. Kids, I told you earlier this month that let's just all leave the past behind and move on. And to start it, let's have a thankful attitude for every time, for all the time. And sometimes, yes, um, sometimes we forget to say thank you. We forget to appreciate the things around us. So today, we are back with a story that is so practical that I think every one of us could relate. So now, join us for another set of games, fun worship, storytelling, and I've got something to show you later. So if you're excited to see me do this later, then stay and see you again in a while. This is how you play Dance Monkey. First, stand up and move away from all furniture, breakables, and animals. Now you are ready to dance, which is good, cause here comes the dance monkey. See, he's already grooving. Now, whatever dance monkey does, you try to copy it. Think you can keep up? We'll find out. Ready? Dance monkey dance. Step touch. Now add a slide. Wave your hands in the air like you just don't care. Now only on one leg. Jump, jump, jump. Now hype. Now floss. Do the woe. Ballet leap. Ballet leap. Do the fresh. Ride the pony. Jump, jump, jump. Jubilation. Congrats! You are all most excellent dance monkeys.
here's what happens in life, right? There's so much that goes on in life that we start to zoom in on all the bad things that are going on. Like, think about this. First, we had to stay at home. Then, no sports. All of them got canceled. No, no championships even. Then, maybe your vacation got canceled. And then, when we did go back to school, or if you're in school right now, you can't go on field trips. Maybe you have to wear masks everywhere you go. Maybe you can't visit family, or you have friends that got sick. Or maybe you're having a hard time with school being online. And here's what happens. When we focus on all the bad, all the negative, God knows that it can make us really disappointed and really upset. So he gave us something. He gave us a truth to remember whenever we're in those times that we can hold on to. Check this out. Give thanks in all circumstances. What does that mean? It just means that when all of this is going on, that there's still things that we can be thankful for. And we have to learn how to see things differently. Kind of like this. Whoa, I mean, look at that. There were things that we couldn't even see before. Like this, we have a place to live. That's something we can be thankful for. We still have our family, we have our pets, we have food and all the things that we need. We have clothes, we have doctors that can take care of us and medicine that can help us when we're sick. We have technology so that even when we can't be around our friends, we can still see them. And then beyond all of that, we still can be thankful that we have a God who's always with us, no matter what's going on in our lives. We always have things to be thankful for. We just have to look beyond what's right in front of us and remember that there's always something to be thankful for. Now, when we're thankful, it doesn't mean the bad stuff goes away. Watch, see? It's still all there, but so are all the good things that we can be thankful for. And now I get it, it's hard to look beyond the things that are hard to remember what we can be thankful for, but here's the great news, is that we can ask for help. You might have a parent or an adult in your life, or maybe even a friend that you can go to and say, hey, when I get stuck, when I'm focusing on all the bad that's going on, will you help me to remember that there's always something I can be thankful for. I know that I need help with that, and if you do too, that's totally normal. And the great part is, God wants to be there for us too. He says that we can always ask him for help to remember what we can be thankful for. So let's do that right now. Let me pray for us. God, thank you so much that no matter what is going on in our lives, that you've offered to help us remember that there's always something we can be thankful for, even when things get crazy. We love you so much, God, and we thank you for that. Amen. Hey, everybody. Let's learn this verse together. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. First Chronicles 16, 34. Grab a cup. Let's do this. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks. Give thanks. Yes, 
I can finally do it! First Chronicles 16.34 Give thanks to the Lord for He is good, His love endures forever! Kids, were you able to do it too? Thank you so much for staying with me all these days, all these Sundays that we have. And you know what? I wish we could all do this together. Well, I hope you all did it at your own homes. And maybe you can share it with your siblings and even your neighbors and classmates. That way, they can also learn having a thankful attitude. Well, you know what? We are wrapping up this whole month of January with our big idea about gratitude. But hey, that's not the end of it. Because we are going to practice gratitude every day of our lives. It doesn't stop today because our new big idea just finished. But we are going to do it every day because that is what God wants us to do every day of our lives. So, I am inviting you also next month for our new idea. Are you excited? Hmm, can you guess us our new big idea for next month? For the month of February? Well, I think some of you already know it, but see you next Sunday and join us for Upstream. Bye for now!